Hello, welcome to Trailers from Hell. Run, a fleeing man calls out. There's a gorilla, a giant gorilla. To which his companion replies, that's okay, my wife's a gorilla too. Dialogue and situations of similar inspired lunacy abound in this Shaw Brothers epic of 1977, made to cash in on the success of the Dino De Laurentiis King Kong the year before. Perhaps copyright infringement fears caused U.S. distributor World Northall to rename it Goliathon, burying the King Kong similarities in favor of a Queen of the Jungle emphasis. We can thank the human Smithsonian of genre, Quentin Tarantino, for rescuing this gem from death by decay in a moldy Hong Kong vault. Mighty Peking Man was produced by Run Me Shaw, brother of Run Run Shaw. In 1927, the two brothers acquired one silent movie theatre in Singapore, and by the mid-1960s had turned it into Asia's largest production, distribution and exhibition combine. Director of this film was Meng Hua Hu, whose career spanned 57 titles. This is his most memorable. Like in the 1933 King Kong, natives do not prosper in this picture. An elephant stampede flattens their village, trampling them and driving them to their deaths in quicksand. One man gets maimed by a marauding tiger, then quickly shot in the head as an act of somehow justified euthanasia. Political correctness was not on the call sheet. The film has so many wonderful howlers that you wonder whether all the bizarre goofiness was an intentional ingredient to this King Kong derivative, or simply escaped the producer's notice. Either way, it's a hoot and a holler, greatly enhanced by shapely Swiss bombshell Evelyn Kraft as an Aryan Tarzan nymphette. Orphaned in dense jungle, raised by animals, she inevitably grows into a lithe woman sporting mascara, eyeliner and tangle-free hair. Her love interest, other than the gorilla, is Danny Lee, the star, ten years later, of John Woo's The Killer. The eagle-eyed should look for an uncredited micro-cameo by Lee's subsequent co-star in that film, a very young Chow Yun Fat. Location shooting in India and major visual effects pushed the budget to six million dollars, a huge amount for the time. The Shaw brothers knew they needed to go outside their studio staff for the model work, so they brought in one of Toho's best special effects supervisors, Sadamasa Arikawa, a veteran of many Godzilla pictures. Arikawa scaled Peking Man to be ten stories high, then faithfully recreated many streets of Hong Kong in miniature for the man in the monkey suit to destroy to the loud approval of Asian audiences. I recommend Mighty Peking Man as a campy treat and great material for your personal Mystery Theatre 3000 party.